are two ways to kill a zombie. The first, with a shotgun. But I don't feel like using that today, so instead, I'm gonna kill you with the power of song. We're Alive, a story of survival. Chapter 1, It Begins. Part 2 of 3. How does it look out there? I don't see any. Maybe they left. Don't take any chances. Go slow and quiet. You ready? Let's do it. The moment we opened the door, the world felt different. There was no one in sight, but we could feel they were close. Clear. Head around back. To the motor pool. Angel, there's one look. It's the commander. What is he doing? He's just standing there. Like he's in formation. Weird. Hey, come on! Motor pool's just around the corner. Take it slow. Move! Saul, you're driving! Clip the lock! Start it! I can't! I have to warm up the glow plug! Fuck, I forgot about that! What is that? Come on! Come on! Oh, oh shit! Feel the hat! You can! Got it! Hold on! You're everywhere! Run him over! There's one on the roof! Got him! Hey, look who it is! Did you really have to run over the commander? Um, he was in the way. You swore to hit him! Saul, stop fucking around and get us out the gate! Turn left from Bandini, and then keep heading west! None of us would say it, but we feared what we might find outside the gate. For the first time in a long time, I was afraid. Not for what might happen to me, but what happened to the world. We were three men lost in a land of confusion. Keep your eyes peeled for any survivors. We can fit around four or five more in here if we pile up a bit. I say finding this place. It's a ghost town. How fast do you think it spreads? Too fast for anyone to be able to do anything about it. Just keep your eyes peeled. You have family out here? Uh, yeah, kinda. My, my parents live in Northern California, outside San Luis Obispo. You? It's just my girlfriend and I. You know, I'm sure your parents are all right. You know, the less yeah, populated... I'd rather not talk about it right now. My mom lives outside Anaheim. That's great. Angel, did you try your cell phone again? Busy still, but I'm gonna Stop keep- Stop the car! What is it? Look, up there, the roof of the flower shop. Angel, get in the turret. Saul, keep the engine running. Oh my god. Riley, come here! How many up there? Just two. Well, get down here as fast as you can. Aw, oh, shit. Got him. Hurry up, there's more coming. Pull the Humvee closer. Jump onto the roof! Angel! 
Come on, pigs. I can't. It's only like Hurry. seven feet. It's not hard. Got it. I'll catch you. you Come on. Now. There are too many of them. Michael, we have to leave her. Come on. All right. Climb through the hatch. You're crushing me. Just hold on. We're clear. Where do I go from here? Left at the light. Just keep going straight for a couple miles until you hit harbor. Thanks for picking us up. Yeah, no problem. Where are the rest of you? This is it. You're it? No, where are the others? You know, army people. We were the only ones to show up. Everything happened too fast. No one could have prepared for this. Where is everyone else? For all we know, we could have just been shooting at them. Where are we going? We're heading to an apartment building that we can hold up in for a while. Is that going to be safe? We'll make it safe. Once we have it locked down, we can go out and look for survivors. What happens after that? Not sure. One step at a time. Pex and I were on the roof for a while. I didn't think anyone was going to come. Who's Pegs? That would be me. Oh. Um. Hi, Pegs. I'm Saul. And that's uh, Angel and Michael. Riley, nice to meet all of you. Where are you all from? I don't mean to be rude. I know you're trying to be polite. But you will have much more time later on to fill each other in on the details. Right now, we need to focus on what's going on. Totally. You do your thing. We sped through what was left of downtown. Small fires were all over the place, and abandoned cars littered the road. We never saw anyone else. I had to keep my eyes on the road, but they kept wandering back to Peg. Her chocolate brown hair and her dark eyes seemed to draw me to her. She looked to be in her early 20s. Unlike Peg's, Riley gave off a very confident vibe. She was fit and strong, maybe somewhere in her 30s. I knew army girls who weren't as put together as she was. Do either of you know how to use a rifle and any type of handgun? I'm a pro archer. Like Robin Hood? The bow and arrow? Yeah, that. Okay, well, that doesn't really help us. What about you? I've never shot a weapon before. Well, I've shot a gun, but I just don't remember how. Here, we have two Berettas. They're handguns. They're really easy to use. All you need to do is flip these switches from safe to fire. See that red dot there? If you see that, the safety is off. If we get into a really bad situation, you use it. Otherwise, let us be the first to fire. I can do that. No thanks. What do you mean, no thanks? I mean, I don't need one. Oh, you mean you don't feel comfortable with it? Well, once we get some downtime, I'll, I'll help train you. Or I could. Angel here is an officer, and he doesn't like to get his hands dirty. No. Really, I wouldn't mind. No, no, it's not that. I I just don't agree with weapons. Wait, you what? I just don't want to. All right, I'm not going to push. Riley, you okay with it? Hell, if you hadn't given me a weapon, I probably would have stolen one. Fair enough. So how do you two know each other? I thought we were going to save the small talk. I can pay attention to more than one thing at a time. Oh, we don't really know each other. Well, not until today. I work as a chef near the farmer's market. Bex here works, or well, worked at the flower shop you picked us up at. Riley found me in the commotion and we climbed up to the roof. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, Riley. Everyone else wasn't so lucky. If we had waited only a few more seconds, we would have rounded the corner right into them. What happened? It all happened so fast. The people that were attacked first got it the worst. They just... collided. Blood went everywhere. Then the ones that were sprayed on started to attack others as well. So they turned into them from the blood? I don't know. Not everyone did, I, I don't think. Only a few. It was hard to tell who was attacking who. They all looked the same. Within a few minutes, though, it was clear who was who. And there weren't any of us anymore. Until you showed up, I figured it wouldn't be much longer before they found us, and we'd end up joining them. Look, I know it's difficult right now, but the details are important. How long did it take for the people to turn into them? A few minutes, I guess. It depended on how close they were. There were some that tried to run away, but they were chased down. 
They're so fast. Oh, we already knew that. We're almost there. Look, once we get inside and we make it safe, I need you to tell me every detail, even if it seems obvious or irrelevant, okay? You two pegs. All right. The more we know about what we're dealing with, the better chance we have of surviving and not becoming one of those things. All right. Pull around to the side, down that ramp. We'll secure from the ground floor, starting with the parking garage. Going there. Kill the engine. Should I shut the security gate? What do you think, Michael? Yeah, do it. The Hummer can get through it if we needed to. Looks clear. It does, but we have to make sure. Uh, sweep across the back row of cars. If we miss one of these things, the whole tower could fall. Check in and under the cars. Hey, we've got something over here. What is it? It looks like they got him when he was trying to get in his car. You breathing? I don't see how he can. Oh, God. So, you know what to do. Got it. Pegs, Riley, come over here by me. What is he doing? Well, unless we have to, we don't want to shoot anything down here. The sound could echo out of the building and bring more of them here. So he's going to... He's going to make sure he doesn't get back up. And we only know one method of making sure. I think I'm going to be sick. Hey, make sure you don't get any blood on you. I didn't. Cut through pretty easily. I was already halfway through before I even started on his neck. Well, leave your knife here. We don't know how exactly how it spreads. Let's head up towards the lobby. I was worried that the new additions might complicate the plan. But they followed my lead and stuck close by, never getting in the way. The lobby wasn't as secure as I would have hoped. Sunlight was streaming through the many windows and glass panes. I was pretty sure anything could get in here if it really wanted to. Clear. Saul, I need you to find something to lock or barricade the main entrance door. I saw some chains in the Hummer, and I think there's a spare lock in the toolbox. Yeah, do it. Riley, you go with him? We'll do. Man, it's all right. We were just down there. Until we've cleared this entire building, no one is to be alone. Ever. Got it? Yeah. Come on, girl. You got my back. Just don't shoot it. Angel, I'll cover the front. Check the elevators. Why don't I watch the front and you check them? I just need to know if they're working. Fine, I'll do it. Out of order? Someone's inside there. See what I tell you? Nothing to what? What? What is it? Angel, secure the front door. Saul, give me a knife. I'm gonna pry open the doors. You had me leave it downstairs. I know you didn't. Now hand it over. I cleaned it off. It's fine. Listen, you made yourself a guinea pig by not listening to me. We wanted to avoid any contact with that flood. Don't let it happen again. Front door secure. All right. I'll open it. You two be ready to fire. On three. One. Two. Three! <laughs> To find out more or become a sponsor, visit www.thezombiepodcast.com or free on the iTunes store, keyword, We're Alive. Starring Jim Gleason, Nate Gies, Shane Salk, Claire Doden, Elisa Elliott. Featuring Michael Swan. Written and directed by Casey Wayland. Associate producer, Jason Scott. Print editor, Blythe Hill, composers Katie Whalen and Ron Gallagher, producer Shane Salk, Casey Whalen. This has been a Whalen production.